Hi everybody, Leanne here. I just wanted to give you a quick little video about water. Three different things. One, how much water you should be drinking. Two, when you should be drinking water. And three, why you should be drinking water. Number one, we'll just jump right into it. How much water should you be drinking? Well, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, just drink a gallon of water a day. Well, that's great. Um, kind of impossible for some people. It's definitely a challenge to drink a whole gallon of water. But what's the absolute, like, minimum that I should be drinking every day? Well, half your weight in ounces is a very, very recommended amount of water. As you can see, that's definitely based off of each individual. For example, I weigh about 140 about, I'm really 135, but I'll round it to 140. <laughs> so I'm drinking at least 70 ounces of water a day. Now, can you go above and beyond that? Of course, more water is not terrible. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> more water is going to be great, and you'll find out why in step three. Now, two, when should I be drinking water? Now, you should be drinking it all, the, all throughout your day. Now, people who take the gallon approach, totally cool, totally fine. I definitely do it some days. As you can see, I have markings, 9 a.m., 11, 12, and it's just markings all throughout the day. You need to be drinking it little by little. If you just, you know, it's 2 o'clock, you're like, oh, I haven't drinking any water all day, and you drink a half a gallon of water, it's not going to be as effective, and your body's not going to be able to absorb it all and use it as effectively as it should be used. Now, here's the other thing. You shouldn't really drink that much water during your meals. Here's the reasoning. Your intestines are lined with these little tiny fingers, right? All around your intestines lined with these little fingers. And they're moving and grooving and they're trying to pick up food. The food comes in and gets caught by the fingers and it goes down deep into the little fingers. And then it's absorbed. Um, all the nutrients and minerals are absorbed from the food. Now, if you're drinking water, you're just washing that you're washing all of the food through. So your fingers can't really grab anything and grab a hold of the nutrients and the minerals. So that is the reason why you should try to keep most of your water intake 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after your meal. Spread it out a little bit. Now, number three, why is water so important? I really just want to share this, these two statistics with you because it's very, very important. There's a lot of benefits to drinking water. That's something that you could look up. Um, I'll probably have a totally separate video about that, but you, your body and the average human body is made up of about 60% water. Females are a little bit less, around 50 on average, and males are a little bit higher, around 70. However, the average human brain is made of about 78% water. The statistics alone talk for themselves and how important water is to just you functioning. If you weren't replenishing your body with water, you're, you're not going to be able to function. Your brain's going to shut down. Your intestines are going to shut down. Your liver's going to shut down. Your muscles aren't going to shrivel up and not have much to them. There's lots and lots of benefits, um, but the main reason is just to make your body function a lot better and a lot smoother. It's like a flowing river, just like we talked about, washing the food through. Keeping your body going. I could go on and on and on. <laughs> However, that's it for today. Cheers to you, and until next time, stay silly.